I'm going to do what I do best and steal the thunder from somebody else and talk about another video that I watched. Um, really quick, there's a really important video. I believe that's important that has come out from Villain Theory that I think it's worth a watch. I will link it down below. I was going to just play uh, the video here, but I don't want to take views away from Villain Theory. I've put it on my page already. Um, it's come out, I think it did like an hour ago or so. Uh, but it's already out there. Go watch it. Understand what 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 he's talking about um, with leaks and uh, card reveals and what's going on. And I wanted to talk a bit about this because he does call me by name specifically. And I gave him permission. It wasn't like I wasn't expecting. I knew he was going to talk about general things of what he talked about. So it wasn't like a shock or anything like that. Um, but I think, I think there's some really good important points that he has brought up. And I think there's really good important points that other people have brought up that I actually kind of disagree with. And I wanted to, to show things off a little bit and, and kind of, kind of pull back the curtain of this channel just a little bit so that people can understand how this affects things. So really quick, his general video, um, he talks about that, uh, this morning as of October 31st. I was planning because I had actually talked to Villain Theory last night about this. That I was planning to do my my reveal video for today for the two new Magneto cards, and this was huge for my channel, right? If you've been around here long enough, you know I've been trying to get these cards forever, right? I've been trying to preview stuff forever. I've had so many people, um, you know, reach out not not only myself reach out, but other people reach out on behalf for me and be like, "You should be working with D20 to do this." So this was a massive thing for my channel when they finally. Uh, agreed to work with me on this and it was huge and i was really really excited for it now i did luckily i recorded my video last night or earlier yesterday and i was able to upload and i was going to do it today and i woke up this morning to a discord server just popping off and the only time i get an alert from that server is when there's leaks and i went Ugh, i know what this is so i go through it and early in the morning everything was leaked for magneto so i had to quickly post my video uh, because I had to get it up there and in turn critical encounters had to post their video pretty quick and the winning hand uh, podcast uh, gentleman had to post their video really quick and I as of recording this I don't think Nelson's posted his I'm assuming Nelson has one maybe he doesn't this time but I'm assuming he does he may have to post his uh, a, a bit quicker as well and this affects a lot of things and villain theory kind of leans into how it affects content creators like me yeah it stinks like if you want my personal opinion on this like this stinks as a person right this is something that as far as this channel i've built up now for four years uh four years yeah uh, three four years oh let's say three let's be a little conservative uh about three years and i've spent a lot of time doing this i spent a long i've been spent years trying to work with fancy flight games and then it finally happens then it's gone then it's gone. And I'm, I, I hear you already. I hear you already. D20, what difference does it make? You are going to do something slightly different anyway with the reveals. The leaks can't take that away from you. And I disagree with that fundamentally. And I'll bring up numbers to show you why I disagree with that. But it kind of stinks. Like it, it's, it's, it stinks for me, right? It stinks for me. And that's my, my quick self-pity wallowing whatever section. But it stinks more for channels like Critical Encounters or Winning Hand. Here's the thing, I'm a big channel. I get it and I get that my perspective is much different than a lot of other smaller channels. My video, it going up, it's still gonna do well, right? It's still gonna do well for this channel, it's gonna do well for me and I'm excited for that. Maybe not as well as it would have, but I think it'll still do pretty well. But for quote unquote smaller channels, or at least channels that are smaller than me, and I don't mean this like in a derogatory way or anything like that, just number wise on subscriptions, channels that are smaller, this is their chance that they've worked so hard for to get bigger, right? There is, There are times when a video can really kind of launch your channel. For this channel, we had three main videos that did that. Uh, we had the unboxing video for, uh, oh, I'm sorry, not the unboxing, the, the rules video for here. We had the um, storage video for here. And there was another one that was really big and popular. It was like one of my tier lists. Uh, and that took this channel from being a small channel to taking off. Villain Theory, I mean, if you watched him grow, I mean, the pace in which he's growing at is phenomenal. And he's had certain videos that have just really helped do that. And he mentions it in his video with Nightcrawler of how, the, how much that helped his channel. Right, there are times that videos like this can take you from a very small creator to a slightly less small creator, right? In the ecosphere of, of uh, 
YouTube, I'm still very, very small, obviously, but in the Marvel Champions sphere, I'm bigger, right? So there are times that videos can can just do that for you, that, that can really help out and kind of boost your channel. And it, it really, it honestly kind of breaks my heart for those channels because it's kind of ripping that opportunity away from them, right? And I am not faulting the person that leaked this because I get it, dude. Like I do understand. Like if I, if I had access to all of them, it's like, Whoa, I can, I can be known as that guy that like was able to get all this stuff out there and whatever. Like I am, I am not faulting him whatsoever. I a hundred percent understand it. And here's the thing. People are going, well, D20, this was in the discord channel. There's only 5,000 people there. Like you're bigger than that discord channel. That's fair. That's fair. But the problem is immediately after that, it gets it gets posted to the Facebook page, which has 13,300 13, ish members and onto the Reddit page, which has 22,000 members. Obviously, there's a lot of crossover, but let's just pretend there's not for a second. We're talking about almost 40,000 members that have seen it again. I understand there's crossover, so maybe like we'll, we'll cut it down to like 10,000 people. But still, that's a lot of people now that have seen all the cards and go, well, why would I care about the leaks then? Like, the, or why would I care about the uh, the rev the uh, previews that all these content creators are doing? I already saw the card. I can make my own opinion about it. And that brings us to the two different types of audiences we kind of get when we do these things. Obviously, there are people that will be seeing this and going, yeah, but D20, I was going to watch you anyway. I wanted to watch your breakdown. I wanted to watch your video and your your how you present it. Uh, same with Villain Theory. Same with uh, the Winning Hand uh, podcast. Same with Critical Encounters. Right? I was going to watch you anyway. And that's true. You were. And I really appreciate that. And that's really amazing. But there's a lot of people who weren't. There's a lot of people who weren't. And I know people won't just believe me on this. So I brought up. I brought up I brought up some figures. I brought up some numbers that we're gonna look through um, really quick. So I gotta get them a little bit set up for us. But the problem is there it when some of that's taken away, you will get hurt number wise. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right. So this is the back end of my YouTube, right? And I just quickly search for preview videos and then it shows you all the views and all that fun stuff and whatever. Don't have to worry about a lot of that stuff. But let's just look at, uh, what is this, Nightcrawler for a second. So Nightcrawler, my preview video had 3,113 views and I posted it May 23rd. Well, the reason that's an important date is because May 23rd is when, oh, wait, you can't, you can't see that because of the way this is cropped. Oh, well, uh, May 23rd is when it was announced, right? So it was announced on that day. And you all came in and watched it. And I really appreciate that. And I got 3,113 views. Awesome. Uh, we can scroll down a little bit to Iceman right here, right? So Iceman has, uh, let me make sure this is showing up. Iceman has 2,673 views, January 18th. The reason that's important is because January 18th, I know it's hard to read, but just trust me, it says January 18th. Wait, can I make it bigger? I can probably make it bigger, right? There we go. January 18th, I did it the day Nightcrawler was there. Okay. If you go down, Deadpool did well, but then there's there's one that kind of sticks out, right? right? Right here, the Angel Oops, there we go. The Angel preview, right? We just had Psylocke uh, preview that I got 2,500 and the Angel went down to 1,500. Why did that go so low? Well, the date published for this was May 15th, but Angel was May 11th. So I was four days behind because I had stuff to go on. Here's the thing. When people already see things about those cards, they stop watching the videos. They really do. And the thing is, I still got a great amount of views, right? Still a great amount of views. My Psylocke preview uh, was done on time or it was pretty close to on time. I think, I think it was on time. All right. So I had to double check, right? Um, April 27th was Psylocke um, announcement, right? The Flurry of Blades announcing it. And again, I did it on the same day. So this is me missing Angel by a few days and I'm losing a thousand views, right? The same exact thing happens with card spoils, right? When the cards get spoiled, Yes, a lot of people will watch my channel, but a lot of people won't. And this, this again, just shows how that works, how that system works. Now, obviously, there's sometimes outliers where it, it you know, people will still watch regardless, of whatever. People will be like, oh, if you still got 1,500 views, it's still really good. Again, it's a drastic drop off from what it was previously. And then after the fact, it's a drastic drop off from what would be. Now, I understand those aren't like, end all be all numbers and people go, oh, well, that was just one time. Whatever. I, we could have gone through all my preview videos when I missed the preview date and I get it like a day or two later, it always drops off, right? It, it's it's not only significant viewage lost, um, but it's also a monetary loss. It, it really is. And again, Villain Theory kind of uh, lean into this and we don't stress this a lot as content creators. There's a lot of work that gets done 
Uh, there's a lot of work that gets done for very little money. And the thing is, I'm very appreciative of everyone that's given stuff to my channel and support this channel, but it's a lot of hours. It's a lot of hours and it kind of gets taken away. So I get it. Reveals, we've, we, uh, spoilers are going to happen. I get it. But we're talking November 15th is when the product releases. 16 days out. Maybe we just don't spoil things to the last week, right? Because let's 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 take off the content creator hat for a second and put on the consumer hat right me as a, a marvel champions consumer because i've been through this before where all the hero packs for a wave and a half or two waves were spoiled for us this was about two years ago i think uh everything was spoiled right and we all dove into it because we're like ah this is so great but then for a year and a half we were bored we had no speculation. The game wasn't as exciting. The communities had died down because there wasn't as much to talk about because, oh, who's going to be the next hero? Well, we already know. And the one after that. And that's the problem with these spoils. It's cool at the time, but it kind of hurts the community writ large, which is unfortunate. Now, as of recording this video, uh, Discord channel, the, the main Discord channel has been contacted by fantasy flight games and said hey please don't allow spoils on or spoilers on your page anymore uh which is great to see um i'm personally doing that in my discord i'm going they have they haven't reached out to me yet about it because i'm a much smaller discord but we're not going to allow it here i'm assuming they'll do it for the reddit page and the facebook page but it's only like a moderator or two that runs it so it'll probably take a while but i think this is it's a good thing in general like i i wouldn't be mad with fantasy flight games saying hey five days before the release or whatever, like spoiler away, like go for it. But the reason that Fantasy Flight Games does this with all of us and, and with other content creators is because they understand how important it is to build hype. This is why they do the live streams, right? This is why they do the articles, right? They don't have to do any of that stuff. They do it to help build the hype. And them recently working with content creators is a great way to engage this community, to build hype, <clears throat> to build content creators, and I know some people hate content creators and hate what we do here, but we do have a role here to, again, keep keep this game alive. Not only keep it alive, because it's keeping it alive by itself, but to continuously build hype for this game, to build more content for this game so that more people get into it. That's my overall job and goal, is to continue Marvel Champions in growth, right? So that we can all enjoy the game together. And when Fantasy Flight Games decides to work with us to do this, uh, it, it's helping the community as a whole. Right, that, that's what they're doing. Now, they're not picking their favorite content creators and going, hey, I really want to give them a boost. I want to, like, no, they want the game to grow. They want it to continue doing well. And they, for a very easy way for them as a small company, right? Because they're a small company owned by a bigger company, owned by a bigger company, probably owned by another bigger company. There's, they're just turtles all the way down. Um, but because of that, I'm sure there's limitations of what they can and can't do. Not just what, what they can do, but as far as like resources, right? Because to make videos like we do, takes time and effort. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of money. This cameras aren't cheap. This microphone's not cheap. This lighting isn't cheap. None of this is cheap. And they have other things they need to work on that only they can do, such as the previews and all that fun stuff, uh, the written articles and such. And maybe they just don't have people that can or want to be on camera, right? And this now allows... This medium and what we do allows them another marketing avenue that doesn't really cost them anything. And then if it doesn't cost them anything, then they can, again, put more money and resources into the game, which is what we all really want. So, I mean, there's so many aspects of it. I know I, I've already seen some people get upset that um, the Discord is not allowing it uh, or that other places aren't allowing it. It looks like a, a few places might not be allowing it anymore. I've seen some people get upset about that. Um, and I... I understand the frustration because you want to see everything but again as someone who was here when they spoiled when a spoiled wave happened like it wasn't great right it, it just it just wasn't and again now let's say there's people that don't pay attention to the spoilers whatsoever right they just watch content creators and they had no idea that this was going on okay the problem for them now is instead of them getting their daily dose let's say of marvel champion reveals happen all at once Right now you have me, Critical Encounters, and um, Winning Hand Podcast doing it all at the same exact time. So instead of them allowing it to be spread out and be like, okay, I got my fill here. I got my fill. Like now it's being dumped on them all at once. They might be going, well, why is that? Well, one, that's why. But that now affects that consumer as well. Right. So it just it's it's just kind of affects everything. So I would I would personally be fine if 
if Fantasy Flight Games says, hey, if you want to spoil this, like embargo it uh, five days ahead, like, or until, you know, embargo it till five days ahead, let's say, let's a random number, two days ahead, three days ahead, doesn't really matter. I would be fine with that. But again, 16 to 17 days in advance, like, now there is literally nothing to look forward to in Magneto, but past that, we have nothing with S.H.I.E.L.D. yet, so we have nothing to look forward to. Like, that's that's half the fun. I don't know. People that watch this video probably get it. Like, half the fun is analysis, is, like, you know, kind of predicting things, kind of whatever, and, like, now a part of that's just being taken away. And again, you as an individual could say, like, well, just don't look at the spoilers, and I would agree with that. To a point, because Discord usually has a section where it's like, hey, you can only put spoilers here. But when it gets posted to Reddit, when it gets posted to Facebook on the main feed, right? On Reddit, it's just there. Like, you just see it. There's no there's no spoiler tag. There's no nothing. Like, it's just there. And you, if you weren't really paying attention, just kind of scrolling through, you go, oh, wait, there's a bunch of cards. At least with the, the Facebook one, the person put it in the comments, that's a little bit better at least. But still, like, if you weren't paying attention, it would just show up and you weren't trying to get spoiled. So it affects those people as well. So anyway, that's my rant. That's my rant. Um, again, it's really important. Watch Villain Theories. He has a different perspective on it. And I think it's really, really good. Like I said, it'll be, it'll be down below. But because he called my name a little bit, uh, I just want to talk a little bit about my side of things. I want to talk about numbers-wise, how it does affect content creators. And again... I think this affects the community as a whole. And all we're doing is getting to know cards 16 days in advance. Like, I, again, I know people will say like, oh, you're only getting cards 16 days. In, like, it, it, it's not that big of a deal. And it's not a massive deal. It's not. But I don't think there should be anything that we do as a community to hurt this game. Right? We all love Marvel Champions. We as a community should be doing as many things as we can to protect this game, to make sure this game grows and builds and gets more people and and just continues to flourish. And we shouldn't do anything that's like basically an unforced error to cause us to to you know th this community is not I don't want to say die out. It's not going to die out. That that's over dramatic, but just shrink in any way, right? Like that's not what we want to say and whatnot. So anyway. If you made it to the end of this video, do me a huge favor. Make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe so that, you know, I get my view counts up and it makes me feel good about myself. Um, but no, I appreciate everyone watching this. I'm sure you have opinions. I'm sure there's going to be a few people there telling me that uh, I'm I'm an idiot about this. That I don't know what I'm talking about. Feel free to put it in the comments. I don't really care. I'll, I'll be happy to discuss those points of view. And I have seen on Villains that there are people that dissent against this. And I'm going to let him handle it on his side with things because I disagree with some of the dissents. I think there's fine arguments you can make um, with it. but anyway um appreciate y'all watching this hopefully this wasn't too long and ranty because now i looked over the time and it's been a while so anyway thank you all so much for watching this and i will see you all next time